Well, University Hospitals is working on a major expansion of its services on the east side with a $236 million upgrade at a Hoosier Medical Center near 271 and Harvard Avenue. The new facility there will not only improve health care for the community, but also provide hundreds of new jobs along the way. Brandon Simmons joins us there live with some more information on this new groundbreaking. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, this expansion project really is years in the making. They just wrapped up a ceremonial groundbreaking just moments ago. It had to be put on hold for a year. But as you can see, the construction itself was not put on hold. It's already ongoing. And when it's all said and done, this facility will house a new sports medicine complex and a new men's health center. There will also be upgrades made to the emergency department with the addition of level two trauma care. But what they're most proud about, I believe here, is the Steve and Lori Potash women and newborn center. So not only will women's health services get a major upgrade, expecting moms will also be able to deliver their babies here at a Hoosier Medical Center, getting some of the same services that they would normally only find down at the main campus location. What we have uh, at our main campus, the Cleveland Medical Center, will also have here. We're, what we're trying to do is match the quality, match the services that we have, and we'll be able to birth up to 2,400 uh, babies here. So it's really an expansion of, you know, our mission uh, for 150 years to take care of women and children. OK, so he's talking about 2,400 babies annually here at a Hoosier Medical Center. And obviously, you can't provide great care without great medical staff. Some medical professionals will be moving their offices here, but there will also be hundreds of new positions here that will need to be filled as well. Now, Sarah, as you mentioned, this is a $236 million project. A lot of that, uh, they got help from donors who were here in attendance at the groundbreaking ceremony that happened just moments ago. And I think a lot of them are looking forward to 2023. That's when when this expansion uh, of the medical center is expected to open. Just incredible scope of what they're going to be doing there. Cool to see it. Thanks, Brandon.